This is sort of a mashup of two questions, which is always dangerous to ask, but we'll give it a go here. Um, both questions from the audience. The administration has indicated a desire to pursue development of nuclear, but also a position against dumping spent fuel at Yucca Mountain. How off the table is the Yucca project? And assuming that it is, how does the administration plan to deal the lingering issue of nuclear waste disposal as it's giving out billions of dollars of loan credit guarantees to, to nuclear projects? Well, first, um, there's two things. First, we, we believe that it's the right and proper thing to do to restart the American nuclear industry. Uh, we believe that uh, this is not only good for going to uh, uh, decrease our carbon emissions, but we also think that this is good technologically. It's good for us economically. Uh, the United States used to be the leader in this, but uh, it's, again, one of those things we've lost the lead in. The leadership is now in France, it's in Japan, it's in Korea. And now China uh, is going in such a big way that it has plans to build four nuclear foundries for the castings uh, in China. Um, I think the problem of the nuclear waste is a problem that actually fundamentally, I think, can be solved. It, it, but it, it's both a scientific problem and a political problem. The political problem is you've got to engage very, very early and make it, the people in the area want, to, want it to happen. Uh, and, and you might say, well, how can that be? And we actually have an existence proof. Um, there's a low-level waste repository that we run in New Mexico. At initially, the people were a little bit worried about this because they're worried, you know, this is, in, this is, so you stick the stuff under the ground in a salt formation. It has um, a disadvantage because once you stick it on, you, you mine down to the salt formation. The salt formation has been proven to be stable for tens of millions of years. So even though in that time the continents are drifting around, this is okay. You can radioactively date that. And so the downside is, after you stick it in, the salt oozes around it and encapsulates it, and you can't get back at it. Well, that wasn't the original requirements at Yucca. This is actually what you want. Don't you want it to kind of ooze around and you can't get back at it? So, uh, so the thing has been operating now for 10 years. It's, it, there's been no accidents. It's been done very safely. It's an income generation for the communities around it. And so I think it, one has to do that. But So the story has two parts to it. One is that there may be better strategies, better ways of approaching it, and that's why there's this Blue Ribbon Commission that's looking into this, that the Nuclear Regulatory Agency has already said that we can keep the storage where it is now in dry cast storage for 50, perhaps even 100 plus years. So the Commission's task is tell us technically what we should be doing. It's not a siting commission, but tell us technically what are the best options what type of storage do you want? It could be a dual thing. It could be interim plus permanent disposal. It could be lots of things. They're f free to decide what to do, knowing, but knowing that you have 50 years, that it, we're not in a crisis situation. And so we can do a much better job this time. And, and so that's the task of the commission. Now, having said that, and this is the, the realization that it's solvable, would you say, let's not do anything for in the next 50 years <laughs> until we prove? No, not really. Uh, there's lots of things we say, okay, if we think about it, this is, this is going to work. We know it's going to work. Let's move ahead and then restart our nuclear industry. Yeah. And uh, again, it's, it's, it's important also the United States restart, not only for the economic issues, but also for the nonproliferation issues. The United States uh, is still one of the leaders in, in fighting for nonproliferation, and the fact that if we're a player in the civilian nuclear industry, that will help us a lot as well. And so there's a variety of reasons, both economic, world peace, a lot of reasons why I think we should become players.